Hi Facebook, this is Amy Stagerwald with WTOL 11. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. Uh, we should have something out coming real soon, but um, I have posted on social media about the a couple of the uh, restrictions and um, regulations that are going in at Franklin Park Mall. Um, tomorrow is the day where retail stores are allowed to open back up in Ohio. And uh, just a few minutes ago, the Franklin Park Mall did announce that they are planning to open back up starting at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Obviously, uh, a lot of safety precautions are going in place just to make sure everyone's safe. So I'm just going to kind of go over a couple of them. And if you guys have questions, you can drop them below. So parking, um, they're asking that it, when you do park that you maintain six feet apart, uh, obviously for that social distancing. All entrances and exits are going to be open, so they aren't limiting the amount of people allowed in at one entrance or exit. Uh, the point is to have as many people, um, you know, little amount of people in each section of the uh, mall. So they will be having uh, all entrances and exits open up and they were, are going to have sanitation stations at each entrance and exit. So everyone should be washing their hands um, in order to keep everyone safe. A couple of the other ones. So face masks, obviously a big question uh, among many people. Face masks are not technically being required but they are being highly encouraged so if you are planning on going to the mall um, you are being highly encouraged to wear a mask um, I have a couple people dropping some questions I'm trying to figure out um, if any of you are planning to go to the mall seems like a lot of you say you can't hear me I hope that we are able to hear me now checking with my audio team real quick um, but anyways, we're going to continue on. So obviously the mall has a lot of different retail stores, a lot of different restaurants inside. Um, and so different policies will be in place at different stores. So make sure if you are going to a certain store, they will be limiting the amount of people inside each store. Um, so if people are lined up outside a store, that's why they're trying to limit the amount of people that are inside at a time. Um, and face masks obviously are being highly encouraged at all of the stores. Du, du, du. Trying to read some of your guys' questions. Looks like everything's pretty clear at this point. Um, let's go over. So face masks are being encouraged. Obviously, if you're going anywhere and you're going to be inside in a large group of people, you should be wearing a face mask anyway or some type of face covering. Um, someone asking, are they open today? No, they are not open today. They're opening tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, this also, we did get word from Levis Commons as well. They are planning to open tomorrow, but their stores have different opening times. So um, just know that. Do, 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 do. Oh, so food court. Obviously, that's a big part of the mall. So um, different f food court options may not be open the whole time because that's obviously a big crowding area. So they may limit the hours of each store and each uh, restaurant so that people can um, get to each one safely and it's not highly crowded in one condensed area. Um, then there's going to be sanitation stations, obviously, throughout the mall. Salons. Obviously, salons is, are going to be opening this coming Friday. They are allowed to be to open back up. And if you do go to a salon or um, some type of nail bar inside the mall, um, you're encouraged to call ahead to that facility to make sure that they are taking customers and that there are no um, specific regulations that they're having. A lot of salons are allowed to mandate masks. So if you are going to go to the salon, you better, you might want to check with them to make sure. Trying to go through in questions. How many people in a store at a time? Good question. So obviously a lot of Different stores have different capacity limits. Uh, if you've ever been to the Franklin Park Mall, you know, JCPenney is a lot bigger than, say, Francesca's, which is a smaller store. So it, it will depend on each store. So each store is going to have their own certain number that they're going to um, allow people inside. And like I said, they're supposed to have outside their store 
a line if um, the capacity limit is reached inside and you'll be able to line up obviously social distancing doing that while you line up do 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 okay let's go back through some of these questions I'm trying to look at their entire detailed and of course we'll have all this information if you miss anything on our website and our app for those that are just hopping on here we're talking about our retail stores which are opening or allowed to open back up tomorrow and uh, Franklin Park Mall just announced that they are planning to open back up starting at 10 11 sorry 11 a.m. tomorrow um, and so they're obviously putting a lot of safety regulations in to make sure that everyone who is going to the mall is doing it safely so just a couple of the key points that we want to highlight all of the entrances and the exits will be open and um, there will be sanitation stations at each entrance and exit so if you're coming in or if you're going uh, you should be washing your hands not crowding around the sanitation stations but just making sure that um, we're keeping everyone as safe as possible shoppers are highly encouraged to wear masks um, the mall is a big space it's got it's going to have a lot of people in so uh, social distancing is another big importance so if you are going to um, go to the mall make sure you have some sort of face covering on um, just because we want to keep everyone safe and we want to keep ourselves healthy um, individual stores can limit the amount of people in each store so there really isn't like a set number for the mall but each store obviously some are bigger some are smaller than others so um, if you go to the mall tomorrow or anytime soon you'll likely see um, you know maybe a short line outside of a store just in order to limit the amount of people inside that store at a time um, the food court will be open to different capacities so obviously if you've ever been to a food court during um, you know any normal time that's not when we're trying to social distance it's very crowded so um, they're trying to kind of strategically open and close certain businesses in the food court at a time so that there's not so much many people packed in there and there's not overcrowding we want to just make sure we're maintaining that social distance um, and like I, I think I saw someone pop in the comments here Governor DeWine is set to speak at 2 so he may address this he we may learn a couple more details for shoppers if they are planning to go out but that main thing that they're really trying to stress is wearing those masks it's not technically mandated but it is highly encouraged and every medical expert every health department official that we have talked that we have talked to has recommended wearing a mask if you are going into a public place where there are other people um, who are not immediate members of your family that are going to be there trying to go through these comments do, 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 do. Yeah, obviously, let, let us know how you feel about this. Are you going to be going out tomorrow? I know there's some people who have anxiously been waiting to get to a store or to, you know, go somewhere in a public place just to have some interaction, but there are still a lot of people that don't feel comfortable doing that. Do, 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 do. Can you shop at home? Um, oh, well, one thing that they are letting people know they can do there is a there are a couple of restaurants and or restaurants and stores I should say that are offering curbside pickup for um, customers so if you have a specific business in mind that you want to shop at or you want to get something at um, they will have curbside pickup one that comes to mind for me is Ulta I know that they're going to start doing that so just make sure you're calling that business ahead of time before you go to make sure that they're offering that and following their procedures and their guidelines. I see some comments about childcare. Um, that is something that the governor has said that he is going to address today at two o'clock. So we are going to obviously be keeping an eye on that and have updates for you tonight on our broadcast. Keep looking. All right, well, I think if, if none of you have any other questions, you know, this is something that it's the next step when it comes to opening back up Ohio. You know, they're trying to do this slowly in order to make sure that everyone is staying safe. Retail is tomorrow, and then uh, Friday is the salons and outdoor dining, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. And um, we'll be coming on here real shortly with the 
Governor DeWine's daily address at 2 o'clock. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great afternoon.